welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the Microsoft Outlook web app. This is a fully functional web-based Outlook application that responds in the same way as the actual desktop application. As you can see, Outlook web app is open to the title page with mail view selected. On the left is the folder pane, in the middle is the messages pane, and on the right is the message view pane. Each of these can be expanded or contracted by grabbing the edge of the pane and dragging. In the Message View pane, you may perform more complex actions to the message by selecting the Actions drop-down. In the Messages pane, you can hide or expand the advanced search forms by clicking the double caret icon next to the search box. These forms will allow greater filtering when looking for a specific email. The searching will only look through the current selected folder in the folder pane. In the bottom left corner of Outlook Web App is a view selector. You may choose to view email, the calendar, contacts, or tasks. Let's switch to the calendar view. You may add shared calendars as well to the view. Each new calendar added to the view will be shown in its own separate view. The calendar pane may also be extended similarly to the mail view. Selected event details will appear to the right of the calendars. To change the detail view of the calendar, select the icons above the calendars to change to day, weekday, week, and month views. The Contacts view will list individual contacts and groups. When selected, the group or individual details will be listed to the right of the contacts. The same search functionality exists for the contacts as it does for the email view. The Tasks view shows all tasks completed or not completed. On the left, you may select all flag tasks or other lists of tasks that exist. When a task is selected, it will show the details to the right. The same search functionality exists for the tasks as it does for the contacts and email views. You can set options by selecting the Options drop-down menu. From any view, Mail, Calendar, Contacts, and Tasks, you may access the Options menu in the top right corner. It has several quick links, such as Set Automatic Replies, Change Your Password, Create an Inbox Rule, and See All Options. It also contains a theme changer, of which I will change to a multicolor theme. You may switch these at any time, and they will not affect any functionality. Note that the arrow next to the theme will show more themes than the first eight. Let's look at the Options page. The left pane will be called the Options pane, and the top tabbed interface will be referred to as the Option tab or tabs. The Options menu is quite in-depth. To start, Outlook Web App shows your account information. This information may be edited at any time using the Edit bu button below the account information. For more information, select the Help icon. The Organize Email section allows users to configure specific actions to be triggered upon certain events, such as arrival of a new message. The Inbox Rules tab allows users to create rules and filters for incoming messages. These rules will be automatically run when a new message has been received. For more information, select the Help icon. Notice that the Help is specific to what screen you are on. The Automatic Replies tab allows the creation of messages to be sent back to the sender of new messages automatically. This feature is typically used for out-of-office messages and can be set to be only active for a specific time frame. The Delivery Reports tab allows the user to generate statistics 
regarding sent or received messages currently in the mailbox over the lifetime of the mailbox. The Groups section in the Options pane allows the user to view the details of groups they belong to. Users may also leave these groups as well as search for and join other groups. Exchange may require confirmation by the administrator of the group before a user's request has been accepted. The Settings section of the Options pane gives the user personal control over their mailbox. This is also where the user may change their account password. The Mail tab contains Signature Configuration and Outlook Web App Appearance along with other protocol handling options such as Red Receipts. The Calendar tab gives a user control over how their calendar is displayed and how aspects such as reminders and auto-processing requests or notifications are handled. The General tab contains options for accessibility, and options on name resolution handling for contacts. Name resolution is the feature that automatically fills in the name and email address of a recipient while the user is typing it in the Send To field. The Password tab allows the user to change their account password. Just enter the old password, followed by a new one, and click Save. The new password will have to meet the administrator's set password settings for Exchange. The Block or Allow section in the Options pane allows users to allow or deny all mail from specific email addresses, as well as extra options to handle personal contacts. Users can add or remove addresses to the list. This concludes the introduction of Microsoft Outlook Web App.